two of our distinguished guests. One is Rajyavardhan Rathod, Colonel Rajyavardhan Rathod. He is a member of parliament from Jaipur Gramme. His big, big achievements, one of his that, he is a silver medalist of the Olympic. He is the first person who got the Olympic award and he is really in front of us. As well as my big brother Vijay Jolly. He is well known. He is from Sri Ram College, Delhi. He was the general secretary of the inner city as well as the president of the inner city. Then he became the member of the assembly of the Delhi state. And from last three and a half years, he is holding the responsibility for the Bhatia Janta Party overseas affairs cell. He is a convener of that. I will <laughs> welcome Mr. Rajyavardhan Rathod to say a few words. And we respect you, we salute you. You have achieved success at a time when everything seemed so bleak. And yet you moved out and made your life, made life for your children. And your strength, your integrity, your loyalty, your sacrifice, your sheer ability to take yourself forward, we need to harness that. We need to uh, take ideas from you and uh, perhaps apply them in your country, uh, which is India, which is truly in every heart of yours, there's a small India. And therefore, we need that small India to grow. So me and uh, Vijay Jolly Ji, we are here. Uh, we've done about a couple of cities. We're going to go to a few more. Although we're going to miss the major, uh, I would say, uh, the function today. But nevertheless, it's an honor for us to just be here and to interact with you. I'm sure with a word of mouth, you will communicate to the other Indians that our Prime Minister is coming to, you, to New York on the 28th of September. And uh, at a time when politicians are not so well respected, there's this one man who comes in India and 125 crore Indians learn to worship him, have hope in him, have belief in him, He's been able to create that kind of uh, belief in every Indian. And every Indian now, and I can say that with authority, that in 2004, uh, when I went for Olympics, it was just going to Olympics was in itself an achievement. Nobody ever perceived winning. But today the attitude is very different. Today every team member who goes in the Olympic arena wants to win not just a medal, but an Olympic gold. I hope all you youngsters are listening here. So that is, that is the new India. And that new India, that new attitude is in every Indian, whichever field it may be. So some of these youngsters who are there in the villages have as much dreams as you had. And therefore it is our honor and our responsibility to provide them with the resources. And today with the limited resources, ideas matter. And who better to give new ideas than people of Indian origin who have done so well. So we look forward to your ideas. And there is an e-portal, mygov.in, it's like mygovernment.in, mygov.in. If you write ideas onto that, I assure you, it reaches the Prime Minister's desk. And not just that, we would request you to please inform all the Indians that on 28th of September, when the Prime Minister comes to New York, he travels all the way, many miles to be here. I'm sure you could travel a few miles and be there to receive him. And to make a statement to the whole world that he's not just the Prime Minister of India today. India today is leader of the world and therefore I'm the leader, a country that leads the whole world. Its Prime Minister comes, its citizens will be there to receive him. So thank you so much and what an honor it is to be here. I wish you Godspeed, I wish you good luck and make yourself and your country is strong. Thank you so much. So just again, the president of the IACA, Mrs. Nivedita Garbadu and dear friends, Hum Bharat se Sandesha Lai, Bharat ke Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi aur Bharat Janta Party ke Adhyaksh Shri Amit Shah Ji ka. 
आप खुश रहें आबाद रहें काम करते रहें मेहनत करते रहें अमेरिका के नागरिक सम्मान से रहे और भारत को ना भूले भारत और अमेरिका के संबंधों में प्रगढ़ता दोस्ती अंडरस्टैंडिंग फ्रेंडशिप बॉन हेमी इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द डे एंड यू नॉन रेजिडेंट इंडियंस पीपल ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन नॉट ओनली इन अमेरिका ऑल ओवर द ग्लोब हैव मेड मदर इंडिया प्राउड विद योर स्ट्रेंथ विद योर जील विद योर हार्ड वर्क with your specialization with your education and uh, with your never die spirit we all salute you we are proud of you and we all invite you to a resurgent india a india in which narendra modi the honorable prime minister wants to take everyone along with on the path of development isliye unka nara hai sabka saath sabka vikas ek baar phir main bharatiya janata party और उसके अध्यक्ष अमित शाह जी की ओर से भारत के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की ओर से और करोड़ों करोड़ों भारतीयों की ओर से आज जो भारत का दिवस यहां पर मनाया जा रहा है इस शुभ अवसर के ऊपर आप सबको बधाई देता हूं मुझे खुशी हुई इतनी बड़ी संख्या में इन स्टॉल्स के ऊपर जो भारतीय संस्कृति का भारतीय परिधानों का भारतीय जो लिटरेचर है और जो बड़े बड़े हमारे रिलीजियस गॉड्स और गॉड्स गॉडेस के जो फ्रेम्स यहाँ पर है जो हमें इस दुनिया को वासुदेव कुटुंबकम द दिस ग्लोबल वर्ल्ड इज वन बिग फैमिली उसका मैसेज देते इसलिए इस शुभ अवसर के ऊपर आप सबको बधाई देता हूँ एज अ ग्लोबल चीफ ऑफ द भारतीय जनता पार्टी एंड वी हैव अराउंड 41 uh, global chapters uh, spread in 41 uh, countries of the globe once again we wish you all the best jai hind jai bharat you have heard some of the individuals who have been named to various boards and positions and today i especially want to thank my friend cb yadav and sasha and paul shamandra and narendra reddy and others who have made it possible for my wife Sandra and I to be with you today. Uh this is indeed a remarkable event. Uh it is a day of celebration as you've already heard and one that is a duly noted by the people of the state of Georgia. And the reason for that is that the Indian community here in our state is certainly a vibrant one. You contribute in very diverse varieties of professions jobs creation of opportunities for young people and without you our state would not be as vibrant as it is now when you gave me the opportunity in 2010 to be elected as governor of this state and that was of course still in the midst of the great recession we were a state that had lost hundreds of thousands of jobs and our economy had had severe impacts from the downturn but working with people in your community and people all across this state we have turned this state around and when i announced that my goal was to make georgia the number one state in the nation i think a lot of people thought well that's just a, a mighty nice dream but it's not something that's going to happen anytime soon well folks last october Site Selection Magazine named Georgia the best state in the country in which to do business, and then this year, CNBC confirmed that and gave us that distinction as well. Now, your community offers a good part of the growth that we have seen that's made that possible. Uh, you're very active in science, technology, medicine, banking, other areas of of in, increased activity. and I commend you for that. So, we are all here together working to make this state better for our children and for our grandchildren. And by doing that, we have had great success. Not only the distinction of being called number 1, but to really play it out in the lives of people. We are rapidly approaching 300,000 private sector jobs created in Georgia in less than 4 years that is indeed quite a distinction 
Now, those jobs span a lot of different areas. I had the good fortune a little over a month ago now to go down to southeast Georgia, which is where my family lived when I was born. I lived there until I was... Now, last May, Sandra and I had the opportunity to attend the India-Pakistan Health Fair in Norcross. Quite a sight to see. I understand it was the first such health fair held in the United States that was orchestrated uh, by the Indians alongside of their Pakistani physician friends. And it was an opportunity to see people working together and providing health care for those who needed it. That's the kind of attitude that your community brings to our state and it's one that makes us all better for it. You have a very diverse heritage and a very diverse culture as has already been indicated by the number of languages that you speak. Several years ago, in fact, many years ago, Sandra and I participated in a program through our church. We are Southern Baptists, and our church had a program where when university campuses closed down for the Christmas vacations, we invited college students who were from other countries and had nowhere to go to come and live with families in our church. It was one of the best experiences that we have ever had. One time, we had three boys, three boys from India, she's giving me hand signals over here. Three boys from India, they each spoke a different native language from in their country and fortunately, the only way they could communicate was in English, which we could understand that. So you, you indeed uh, have a great heritage in your country. You bring it here to our state, and you make us all better for that. We have maintained friendship with one of those young men. He was studying to be a nuclear engineer, and he got his degree in nuclear engineering and uh, went to work for one of the big nuclear power companies. Unfortunately, it was not in Georgia. But he brought his wife back years later. She was from India, she was a physician. And he brought her back to visit us in Georgia. And he has stayed in contact with us. Uh, sometime back, I had occasion to uh, be headed in his direction. And I gave him a call and he introduced me to his children who are now in college. Now that really made me feel old at that point in time. But those are the kinds of friendships that make a difference. They're the kinds of friendships that cross cultural boundaries and make us all understand. We're all people. We all want the same basic thing. We want our children to have opportunities. We want our children to get a good education. And we want them, if at all possible, to be able to have jobs and stay right here in the state of Georgia. And I want you to know that I am working hard to make that happen. I appreciate the opportunity you've given me to be here today and to serve this state for the last four years. I am running for re-election. I need your help. I appreciate seeing the stickers that many of you have on. Uh, remember to vote. That's one of those great rights that our country gives to us and one that is not to be taken lightly. I want to make sure that we continue to move this state forward so that we will not only retain the number one state in the nation in which to do business, but we will be the number one state in the hearts and the minds of our citizens who like living here, who like raising their families here, and look forward to many generations yet to come. Thank you very much.